Starting us off, Lazer Hill became the first team to qualify for the boys' uh, semi-finals in, in the football category after winning their second match at the ongoing Airtel Rising Stars National Finals in Machakos County. Guinea Girls and the Kubala schools also qualified for the girls' football semi-finals after both teams won uh, two consecutive matches. The Kenya Secondary School Term 2 Big Games entered Day 2 in Machakos with some teams sailing through to various stages while others bid the games goodbye. In the girls' football, Ginda and Kobala qualified for the semi-finals after winning their second successive pool beam matches. Ginda followed up the opening 4-1 win over Kikima with a 2-1 win over Eburu on Wednesday. Irina Mutabi and Rachel Mwende scored for Ginda while Pamela Simu scored Eburu's consolation. Kobala, who had registered a 2-0 win over Eburu on Tuesday, made it two wins with a 2-1 victory over Kikima to reach the last form. I wish that a good team that will uh, carry the day has prepared much well. We have pushed them a bit hard. And uh, we, we are reaping the, 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 the rewards, at least up to this level. Uh, next year we shall put more effort. In the boys' football, Laser Hill won their second consecutive match to go top of Pool B with six points and qualify for the semis. <laughs> Elsa in volleyball reigning girls champion Kwathanza defeated powerhouse Lugulu 3-1 to book their semi-final berth with a game to spare in the group stage. Defending boys champion Malava boys were too strong for Tetu beating the Abadea side in straight sets to also reach the semis with a game to spare. Lynn Washira, KTN.